What's up everyone? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for joining me. I am filming a super quick tutorial. I'm running to meet a friend uh, on patio in Halifax. Super excited. Haven't been on a patio in Halifax this year, I don't think. Uh, so I'm really excited. It's Friday. I work half days on Fridays in the summer. It's just a good day. It's just a good day all around. So I thought that I would film a video for you guys since I had a little bit of time. I picked up some makeup when I was at the Superstore today, oddly enough. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this video. Hopefully it gives you some good tips. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. So if you guys want to see how I got this peachy, goldy, bronzy makeup look, please keep watching. So I'm going to have some drinks on a patio with my friends, so I'm going to be outside. It's super, super sunny and super, super hot out. So I have to obviously wear some sunscreen, so I'm going to put on some SPF. This is the Avene Broad Spectrum UVA, UV, UVA UVB Protection Ultra Light Hydrating. This is a great sunscreen. I actually used to really hate wearing sunscreen, but now that I've found this one, I really like it. So I already put my moisturizer on, so I'm putting this over top. And this is a great sunscreen because it doesn't get greasy and it doesn't stink like sunscreen, you know, like that sunscreen, like plasticky smell. That might be the cheap ones that I buy from the drugstore, but this one's better. So the best beauty tip my mom ever gave me was make sure you always put sunscreen here because if you don't and the skin here, like the skin here is very thin and it will age quick. Any skin that's like very, very thin will age quicker. So you could get age spots, you could get wrinkles, um, and you just basically want to keep that skin nice and young so that you can always wear like v-neck tops. Not necessarily low cut tops, but always like v-neck or open neck. You can wear whatever you want anytime. However, if you want to be as comfortable as possible, the best thing to do is just protect your skin in this area. So next thing I'm going to do is go in with my primer. I, Whenever I'm going out in the sun and I know I'm going to be like warm, I pack on the liquid products beforehand because actually it makes your makeup stay on longer. If more your makeup has to stick to, the longer it's going to stay on. So I found that this always works for me, so I'm going to use my Temp2 Base Smooth and Matte Primer. I'm also going to go in with Benefit Professional just across my nose to fill in my pores. Next I'm going to go in with my Morphe E7. I just got this in my Morph Me brush subscription and I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics your Skin But Better CC Cream. I'm gonna keep this look pretty natural. I'm just, I mean, I'm going out for drinks with a friend and I don't know, we'll see what happens though. Cause sometimes I'll say like, oh, I'm gonna do a natural look and then, you know, it, it's not natural. So anyway, <laughs> uh, exciting news. I only have to use my light CC cream now. I was using light and fair mixed, but now I've gotten a little bit of color and I only have to use the light. But I'm finding lately like my skin is a freaking mess. So I'm using a lot more of this than I was to get the coverage that I want. There's a wasp's nest outside my house somewhere and I can see them flying around right now. And I've caught like two or three in the house. I gotta find that nest or we're gonna get invaded. Next I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I could probably go one shade darker or even switch to like the NC's in this but I just got a new one so I'm not going to and I can it's like it's okay you'll see what I mean it looks really really light on camera <laughs> when I blend this in I'm gonna use my Morphe G40 brush to blend that in all my sponges are dirty and I'm lazy so using a brush and I'm just tapping it in like I would with the, the sponge and it does honestly just as good of a job for concealer. So taking my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I don't know if I'll ever not use this powder honestly. It is until something better comes along which is I don't know if that'll ever happen because I love this powder so much. It just like extends the wear of my makeup so well and it just sets everything. It doesn't crease like it's just it's heaven and a powder. I heard about this originally, I think it was Manny MUA, and um, I'm so glad I bought it. It's like an oily person's dream. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with Painterly Paint Pot. I like to do this before my eyebrows because sometimes I find that I'll wipe my eyebrows off. I'm gonna use my Tarte eyeshadow palette. I don't think they sell this palette anymore, which sucks because it's a really good palette, but uh, anyway, they sell all kinds of different like face palettes and eye palettes, so I'll link one down below for you guys that I think would be similar. Uh, so I'm gonna take this color right here, 
which has a big hole in it because I use it all the time, on an Exo Beauty Firm Blender Brush. And I'm going to stick that right in my crease. I'm going to do my brows at the very last, I guess, today. <laughs> kind of forgot. Same thing on the other side. Man, those wasps, they are buzzing. I, like, have a very ridiculous fear of bugs. Like, I'm bigger and I always kill them, so, like, why am I scared? They should be scared of me, but they're not. They just come right in. The little buggers. To meet their fate. This is taking a weird turn. So I'm just kind of, like, buffing that in. I want this to be, like, a super natural look. I'm not going for anything, like, groundbreaking here. Just very, very natural. Grab this eyeshadow brush. Any flat eyeshadow brush will do, and I'm going to use this color right here. This reminds me of All That Glitters by MAC, only it's like less pinky. Like, All That Glitters kind of has like a pinky sort of tone to it, I find. Anyway, uh, and I'm going to pat that all over the lid. Super simple. I'm really into gold eyeshadow these days, like super into it. I, I don't know why. I mean, I'm always into gold. Who am I kidding? But especially right now, I just feel like it goes really nicely with like glowy skin, like summer, bronzy, you know, it just I'm into it. So I'm going to have sunglasses on too for like a good portion of this evening. Hopefully we'll be somewhere that it's sunny. So really don't need to be like concerned about my eyeshadow. I'm going to grab my little Tartlet Tease palette and grab that blending color there and just go around the top and the outside of my lid here. Sort of like on my brow bone. I just want to darken up that crease like a little bit, but I want to be really precise, so I'm grabbing... All my brushes are dirty. Horrific. Um, I'm grabbing this Morphe PK36. It's just like a long, skinny brush, if you can see that. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. My head's cut off, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to grab this palette again, but I'm going to take the darker brown this time. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease just to define it a little bit. And I'm not going to push that up. I'm just going to keep it in the crease. Same thing on the other side. I, this palette was a gift from my boyfriend's mom, and I think I've used it more than any eyeshadow palette I've ever had, honestly. And, like, I haven't even hit pan on any of the shadows. It is so beautiful. I wasn't like super sold on Tarte's eyeshadows until I got this palette and now I'm like very sold. There's like hardly any product left on it but a little bit so just going around on the brow bone just to blend those two together. It looks so crazy without having my eyebrows done. I'm just going to grab that brush that I used for my concealer and just kind of clean up where I went a little too far with that eyeshadow. That'll wipe that off. I'm going to take this palette again. I'm going to grab this little brush here and apply some on my inner corner of the lightest color in this palette. This palette, the color right here. I love this color. I often reach for this palette. Man, the wasps, they're, they're everywhere, you guys. They're everywhere. It's crazy. They're like climbing on the Railing outside my window, oh, they're like taunting me. They know I'm afraid. They can smell my fear. I'm also going to put that color right under my brow bone here. I might mess that up with my, when I put my eyebrows on, but we shall see. If I do, it's okay. I can always fix it. Then I'm going to grab that first color that we went with, and this is a Morphe M578. It's a little like smudgy brush. Uh, all my pencil brushes are in my kit right now because I'm doing a wedding tomorrow morning, so I didn't want to take anything out because it's all ready. This is already like more eyeshadow than I had intended, but say lovey. Fill in my brows. I always use, as you guys know, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, and I use the little brush that they recommend with it. It's been my go-to for a while now. So I'm just going to fill in my brows and I'll probably speed this part up because you guys have seen me do this a thousand times.
Okay, close enough for today. Let's curl our lashes. I always use this Revlon Lash Curler. It's such a good one. I'm using my Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir Mascara. And I use MAC Extended Play on the bottom. So I'm going to grab my Ish Beauty Palette. I'm going to use this bronzy color down at the bottom on my MAC 127. 127. And I'm going to add some bronzer. This bronzer is so nice. Like, honestly, it blends as well as my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but stays on better, which is amazing. So, can't really ask for more than that. Get it right up in my hairline. Cover all my gray roots. Okay, so if I had Warm Soul Blush, oh, you know what? I got a new blush. Be right back. All right, so I picked up some discount makeup today. Well, actually, only one of them was discount. I got this Marcel Peach Lipstick, which I'm going to wear tonight. It's a cream formula, but that's okay. Normally, I'd wear matte on a hot day. And I also got Milani Luminoso Blush. I've wanted this for so long, and I don't know why I didn't buy it, because it's like 8 bucks. Uh, but this is like apparently the best blush ever. It's like peachy. Kind of reminds me of New Romance by MAC, which I already have. Um, but let's try it. This is a Morphe PK4. Okay, it's a little darker than New Romance. So in my opinion, that's good, because New Romance is like too pinky for me. This has really good pigment, and it's like... Look at that, like, glow that it gave me. Gorgeous. So you can find Milani at Superstore and Lawton's. I don't think they sell it at Shoppers. No, I'm, like, confident they don't sell it at Shoppers. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful blush. I'm going to buy all of these for my kit now. There was another one that I wanted to buy, uh, Rose D'Oro, I think it was called. And it looked kind of like warm salt. The only thing is... These don't smell good. They smell gross, but they're drugstore, so usually drugstore stuff doesn't smell that good. Um, I'm just going to soften that up around the edges with the same brush that I used for my translucent powder. Um, let's try this lipstick. I should put a lip liner on, though, I guess. Well, I would normally use um, Boldly Bare, but I don't think I have one right now. I think I lost it. Uh, which is too bad, huh? But, anyway, this will work. It's like a little pinky. This is a beautiful color. Okay, so this is the Marcel Rouge Expression Cream. It's number 804 Paris Rose. I think I'm going to like it. I love peach. This reminds me of something, I just don't know what. It's um, creamy, we'll see how it lasts, um, but it's a really pretty color, and it's, it's probably hydrating. Like, Marcel products are really nice for drugstore. This was on sale at the Superstore in Lower Sackville uh, for six bucks, so I bought it. It was regular 12, so half off. But yeah, it's a really pretty, like, peach color. It reminds me sort of Reminds me of a matte color, but I can't remember what it is. But it looks different on than I thought it would. So I need something to mattify me right now. I do not want to touch Fix Plus because I'm already a sweaty mess. If I had a mattifying setting spray, I'd use it right now. But I don't. So I'm going to have to use Fix Plus. There's a mattifying Fix Plus out. Has anybody tried it? If you've tried it, please comment down below and let me know if it works because I really want to buy it, but I don't know if I believe it, you know? I don't I don't believe everything Max says anymore. I don't work there. So light on the Fix Plus if you're oily and it's hot out, but I got to put something on to make sure this makeup doesn't move. Just a little spritz. 
So that is it for this look, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this casual video. Uh, I had a great time filming this for you guys. I really like how this look turned out. I really had no ideas about what uh, I was going to be wearing, but I really did enjoy this look. Tried a couple new things and I liked it. So hopefully you guys liked it too. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in every week. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next because I really only want to make videos that you guys want to watch. Also, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the video and hit that subscribe button before you leave. Please, please, please subscribe. It makes such a huge difference. Sometimes when I look on my YouTube and I notice I have a new subscriber, like honestly, it just makes my day. So thank you guys so much to those of you who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, I mean, obviously you should. So I hope you guys are having a great week so far and I hope you had a great weekend. Thank you guys again so, so, so much for watching. I'm going to go have a drink on a patio and I'll see you in the next video.